to another poly gel nail design these came out cute i don't really have like any inspiration anything behind them they just was like a go with the flow set so let's start it oh so what i wanted to do here was kind of take the time out to show you guys the brand the tube the number color that i'm using because i know when i'm doing my sets um that part goes by real quick when i put it on the nail so it's a little difficult to see which brand that i am using but um I will add the one I believe only one of them wasn't available anymore but I will add them in the description for anyone that is interested but um we're just gonna go ahead and start out with putting that form on oh okay so from the time I was doing my forms until the time I got to this point I had scratched my hair and that thing it got pretty oily so I just wiped it off with a little alcohol just to make sure that my form will stick to my finger and I don't have to worry about it constantly popping off. So that's a tip for you guys. If you're using forms or even tips and you or your client scratch your hair or something, just take um, a little alcohol on a paper towel and just wipe that nail off and that finger off and that will remove that excess oil. But um, after I get the form on, I snipped it on the sides. My usual customized it, snipped it, rocked it up, squeezed it tight, opened up the tip a little bit, and I was ready to go. Um, okay, so this I just use alcohol that I get from my local Walmart. Nothing real special. I just continue to refill this little bottle as needed. So you didn't gotta go and buy slip solution. Just get some alcohol. Alright, so I went in with this pillow base coat for this set. Um, I try to just go in back and forth between. I got three different um, pillow base coats that I like. And I just try to rotate them out. And so this one was the one I went with this time. Now, what I did forget was this one was like super thick compared to the other two. And um, honestly, when I was removing these, I had a hard time getting them off. I kind of forgot how thick it was. So, but yeah, I absolutely love that pill off. Put it on, cured it for 60 seconds. All right, so we're going to start out with this. It's like a milky white with a little bit of like a pinkish to it. Just a tiny bit of pink. I would say it's more on the milky white side. Now, I'm not a big fan of white nails on me, but being that it was milky, it was, it was given nice. It was given what it needed to give. It wasn't that hard white pink. I mean, I'm sorry, that hard, white, bright white that I just don't like. But, all right, after I popped that little air bubble up out of there, applied it to the um, nail, started working it back towards my cuticle area. Um, For the most part, you guys should know already, I'm a fan of Lanfo Poly Gel. I don't have an issue with it. It always worked very well for me. At least they're older kids. Now, since... um. Let me see, the last kit I got from, the, I have recently purchased three new kits from them, four actually. And I don't know if they changed the formula or what, but the newer ones are a little more on the runnier side. Like they squeeze out hard and stiff, but once you put it on the nail, it will start spreading. And their beginning kits wasn't like that. So I'm not sure if they changed the formula or what. But um, let me go through this process of what I did with the tweezers. Cause I'm just running my mouth. So after I squeeze that poly gel on the nail, squeeze up that little gap so I don't have an air bubble, gently go around my cuticle areas with my brush at an angle and just kind of patting it down into that cuticle, but not patting it down where it is going up under it. And then just make sure the whole nail bit is covered from side to side. Drag down the excess. And then I took the tweezers, dip it in the alcohol, and then just kind of pushed it over in areas. So I was trying to get points pretty much. So um, with the brush, I am able to get angles and stuff in the poly gel. But with the tweezers, it was giving me a straight line and a point. And then so after I did that, I was able to take the brush and just kind of clean it up a little bit. But I pretty much did that on all the fingers. Um, for Okay, this one was McCart Rose. Now, when I did this set, which was a couple of weeks ago, I'm just getting to the voiceover, but they didn't have it on Amazon anymore, but I did see it on Walmart. 
Um, when I go to put the links in the description, I'll check Amazon again just to make sure it's not there. But they definitely had it on Walmart. All I'm doing with the pink is I'm just taking it and I'm outlining that um, milky white color. Um, nothing real special. Again, this is just like my typical everyday thing. Um, I mean, that's just, just, just how I do my nails. So it's not a big thing to me. I'm just taking little small beads and connecting them to the previous one. And then I give them quick curves. Now this blue, um, it's like a tail or whatnot, but this one again was from their older kit. No problems with it. Very nice doing the same process. But you guys, I wanted to say something real quick while um, the video is just pretty much playing out. Again, it's the same thing that I usually do in my sets and I have explained it over and over again. So it's not a whole lot to it. Okay, so what I wanted to say is I have a lot of poly gel. Um, at this moment, I have roughly about 5,000 tubes of poly gel that I purchased on my own. I bought on my own with my own money. And at this point, the poly gels are just getting out of control. They are sitting in boxes in my closet. And I used to say to myself, I'll get to them when I get to them, but every tube will get used. But um, that's not happening. So it's like I'm buying more than I'm actually being able to use. And so my question to you guys is, do anybody want some poly gel pretty much? And not even just poly gel. I got a, quite a few things that I wanted. Okay, so let me do this because now I'm just thinking out loud. So if any of you guys are interested in some poly gel tubes along with a few other little things that I may throw in that package, if enough of you guys say yes, I am willing to give y'all poly gel. And so if you could comment below or comment down in the comment section, um, yes, you would like some poly gel. If you could comment what colors you may like or what brand you may like or you would like to try or whatever the case may be. Just give me some indication that you are interested. And if I get enough people saying yes, then... I'll work it out with though um, the how how I will throw it together, but at this point I'm not going to stop buying poly gel and I'm just not getting to them and I don't like that they just sitting in my closet like that and so um, yeah if you guys don't say yes then I'm just going to have to start throwing some away. Now let me say this for you guys who watch my videos you can see that when I do use my tubes I use a small tiny bit of um, poly gel from one specific tube so all of the tubes that I most of them will be brand new but for the ones that are not brand new the ones that I have used it's only a tiny bit that is missing and so um yeah if you guys want to just let me know but um l let me say something try to back up for the video for a minute so that green that I put on there I totally forgot that that was a temperature change in poly gel. And so it kind of irritated me at that point when I was doing this set um, after I cured it. Because I'm like, what the hell? Like that just wasn't what I was expecting. And so um, eventually it does turn back dark green. This yellow also is a temperature change in which I knew that before doing the set. But um, it's something I learned though with because I hate temperature change in poly gels. Um, but I figured I am still able to use them as long as I keep it further away from the nail bed, they will stay their cold color. Like I like the temperature changer ones straight out the tube when they cold. I just do not like the hot colors and that's why I'm not a fan of those temperature changing ones. But, um, yeah, so I'm just taking that yellow, same process, pushing it up against the previous color. Kind of putting a little dip in it so that way um, I'll have the next color I have something to hold on to while still keeping some sort of design in the nail. All right, so this pink glitter, um, it you know what? It wasn't just the glitter; it was a mylar. It was I think it had like a little bit of glitter in it, but for the most part, it was like a mylar glitter. Um, very very pretty color. This was the only color that I had. Well, this brand was the only one that had this one. So I have some other clears that have like pink mylar in it and stuff like that. But this was the only one I had that was actually pink 
with pink mylar and so i absolutely love that color um and honestly if i get poly gel away i will not be giving this color away because i definitely would like to use it again but um yeah i'm just finishing off the nail at this point dragging it down to my desired length and then squaring it off i do not know how to scope anything but a square and so all my sets just tend to be square nails but clean up my sides make sure everything is as even as i can get it at this point and then i'll go ahead and um give that actually no okay so i did the okay i did the next finger the middle finger and then we cured but this one this poly gel i got from aliexpress again it is just like the pink one it is a green with green mylar in it super pretty i don't like the clears with the color mylars it just don't give that that bright color but um i did get this one from amazon i'm sorry i got that green from aliexpress and i'm just doing the same process just putting it on finishing up the nail and so as you can see i pretty much did the two in the middle with the green and then the two the two in the middle with the green and then the pointer and pinky with um the pink i'm sorry guys like my brain is all over the place because i'm really trying to get rid of some of this poly gel at this point it's just like too much and so um like my mind is kind of on that you know and i also want to give away like polish and liner brushes some stickers and stuff because i don't really use those type of things like this polish and the stickers and stuff anymore and so that stuff is just sitting there and i feel like somebody who um you know just don't have it in the budget at the moment or somebody who want to try poly gel and not sure about it i just feel like i have a lot and i need to give it away but um we're just gonna go ahead and wipe them nails off get that sticky layer off always remember to wipe them off because if you don't they will still feel uncured but there they are i had a lot of filing to do for the most part so i went in with a green coarse bit this is a long burl bit i spoke on this before in a few other videos it's really great for um people who do long nails because it cover more of the nail when it comes down to filing now i do not recommend this bit for beginners or people who are scared of their e-file in a sense because it will cut you but um now i'm going to go with my absolute favorite green hand file this thing is so sturdy i don't know how many times i can say this this file is so sturdy it just don't bend after cleaning up that side i'm going to clean up underneath um, if your nails still seem like they wide, no matter how much you file the sides, you may need to file a little off under the underside and that will help with the wide look. But then I went in with the red fine bit and this is just to remove any lumps or dips or scratches pretty much from the green file. And then absolutely had to go in with a hand file. I feel like, um, I, I, first of all, me personally, I never skip out on hand filing. Hand filing just allows the nail to look perfect in a sense. It like gives it that finishing touch. It smooths everything out, make every, makes everything just blend together very well. And so after that, I'm just going to double check them the shape. Um, I spent a lot of time on filing and shaping. This is my favorite part. Um, it, I can just file and shape all day. I actually love this process. But um. I feel like the more you file, the, the better the shape will get. And so I do do shaping a lot, but there is the nail. I went ahead and did all of them. Let's go on in with my Venalisa top coat. Um, yeah, just a thin layer over the whole nail, nothing too special. I am a Venalisa um, top coat at least fan. Like I use that for every set. Once it's gone, I'm definitely buying more. I just prefer that top coat. So I took a little rhinestone and put it at the bottom of the nail, took a flower, put it on there, and then grabbed the other rhinestones that I was using and then just put it those on the nail where I wanted them to be positioned. Uh, with that, I just left a little space. Okay, so I put it at the bottom of the nail because, look, let me start again because I'm going to drop this rhinestone in a minute. All right, 
So I took the rhinestone, I put it at the bottom of the nail just so I can get a little top coat on there. And then I put it on the flower and then, um, you know, just make sure everything is aligned where it needs to be. And then I cured it. And so I do it that way because trying to just get a little drop of top coat on that flower or a little drop of rhinestone glue, it makes a big mess. So me just getting a little bit on the back side of the rhinestone and then curing it works out a lot better. I'm going to wipe off that extra top coat, cure it, and here are the nails. Um, again, these are why they are cold. So you can see the yellow and the green. But they came out super cute, a little better than I expected it. Absolutely loving the green and pink Milo glitter ones. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And then again, if you guys want poly gel, please, please let me know in the comments. And I am willing to ship it to you. But thank you guys.